is that that we will have our NORAD to convert data to our own tracks. Since we have our boat ready and our signal can deliver it successfully to the broker and we also have MQTDFX to catch the data successfully as well. So that means that uh, it's time that we need to connect the data to our whole system through NORAD. Okay, so here are a few steps that uh, we will do that. Okay, uh, we will have MQTT uh, to configure MQTT input node to receive the data from LoRa MQTT broker. Okay, so but as I said, explain in the in my source code that we shift some. Uh, GPS, uh, GPS data. Uh, so we have to sh shift it back uh, for our use. So we will transfer, uh, convert the data uh, from the function, uh, function in the NORAD. Okay. Then we will have the system, the another NORAD node. MQTT output node to receive the data from the broker. Okay, so let's go to the system. Let's go to the browser. Okay, remember that uh, the endpoint of no red we got is this address okay so we enter this address okay as you can see that uh, from the screen we have not con uh, configured this part that's why you see the uh, triangle over here okay so that's put our credential here that means this node is uh, the task of this node is to receive the data from LoRa broker. Okay, so we configure over here. We will have our host stamp here and port 80. Okay, client, we Keep it blank. Security. We have ID over here. We have ID. And the password. So I believe that's correct. About the topic, remember that we have to set exactly this topic because that is the channel that uh, our data will be sent and received. So get it done. Okay, as you can see that uh, is uh, green now, is in blue, but we have not applied the changes, so we will click the deploy. Let's see what happened. Okay, so it shows is uh, correctly. Okay, but it shows disconnected. Let's see what happened. Let me double check to make sure 
the client is okay and the security number not sure if the password Okay. Okay. So the password will be the problem. Okay. So as you can see, that is connected right now. And what will happen? That means that uh, the GPS data will be received from the broker um, from this node. And the data will go through here. A function okay and send back to our mosquito broker let me explain this that uh, if we can see that's that, that uh, this note is a uh, incoming note receive a data from here then send it back to mosquito and we would that the data to receive again okay so why do we do that let me explain to you what will this function do okay as you can see that basically that uh, this function is to uh, convert our uh, GPS data Okay, here are some script over here. Okay, and we would put a day code, not day code, time code over here. That would be required by on tracks. Okay, so we will reformat to another data set that that on track can understand as you can see that uh, you need the ID okay okay and latitude longitude battery TID time and type okay so those are information that on track and understand so that's why that we have to do it here for convenience okay so if that is uh, correctly converted so it was sent back to the topic of on track Howard and Laura okay so if you use a different name that you might want to change here okay but in my case, I will use Laura. I, I will use Howard. And device name is called Laura. If everything is correctly set up in the debug port that we would expect to receive a signal converted. Okay? So that's that see what would happen so if the data is well is success, successfully delivered to the server then this node would receive every data from our broker so it will display the message over here okay so let's try if that works Okay, let's try the sample data first. If we fire a data, okay, it goes here for conversion and it going into this topic and and coming out from here. So we receive from here. Okay, but we will need the actual data. 
So uh, that's going back to our device. Okay. Just assume that uh, this device is running independently. That I will fire a sticky signal. Okay, by touching the G sensor. Okay. Okay, it stopped now. So that's coming back to our desktop. Okay, as you can see that we have we have received a data which is actual data from our device is zero four zero 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 four ten that will be the MAC address of my device okay and here is a uh, the location and the battery is not high it's only you know 33 okay so it's very low right now okay and the location Okay, so that means that uh, this system already. Okay, so let me do that again. Let me clear lock for us to see that clearly. Okay, and I would like to uh, put my device here. Okay, then as we know, as is, is the, when the device is motion and the G sensor will be triggered. Okay, when we touch this, as you can see that uh, the device is in motion. Okay, it's fresh it means that uh, is getting GPS data. Okay, pressing. Okay, as you can see that we get the the data from here. Okay, so that means it already get the data for our enough server right now. Okay. So then if we want to make sure the data is there, we will use the second URL. That is the recorder URL. Okay. And thus go to the website. You can see that uh, here comes a LoRa mod location okay and these two are the dummy samples that we did the testing but this one should be the actual one okay so if we look at uh, the map you're gonna see this and we try to auto zoom it and you will see here is our device is here that's the way that we you know read our data okay so does come back to see if we can see okay 
the the list here's a list of the device then we see how a low rise over here and the battery level from here and here is our uh, currently position okay that will be all for the first device then next that we will go on uh, the GPS device of uh, on our uh, linking whiteboard as well. So see you next.